All right, I just got all my pressure switches wired up, and um, so we, it start all starts um, over here. We'll start with a uh, contactor for compressor number one, and that gray wire back in there. I don't know if you can see it. It's hooked to this blue one. That's the coil voltage for that contactor. It's 24 volts, and uh, so that that um, goes from there through the uh, through the first through the low pressure switch here, which is linked to this high pressure switch over here in series, the wire nut right there, and then through, and then this is coming off of the high pressure switch after being linked with the, so if all is well and both of those switches are closed, the control coil voltage will, uh, will um, be allowed to flow to the contactor coil and, uh, and uh, have the contactor pull in, make the contactor pull in. And then the same, did the same thing over here, there's uh, compressor number two. There's orange wires, the coil voltage, linked it through, low pressure switch, tied the low pressure to the high pressure over here. High pressure uh, out and goes over here to that coil on the con uh, contactor number two. So with all that hooked up, we'll, uh, the switch is tested good and the pressures are good in the unit, so we should turn the disconnect on and have no problem. Got the uh, thermostat pulling into into both stages of cooling. Oh, look at that! Trying to fly away. Both compressors humming away. That is a successful job, my friends. All right. Well, uh, that's all it did for today, and uh, until next time.